I think all of them have to be in that debate too, though. Who? Alford. Well, that's true. Cal said the last couple of games, in the roughhouse games, that you've had needed some IV treatment after the game. How tough has it been physically on you? It's been tough. <laughs> I mean, they've been battles for sure. We played against some, some great teams with good post players. So taking my challenge, we want to be physical, and that's kind of just the way we have to play. So it's been good, though. I feel like I've been recovering and bouncing back pretty well. Cal also mentioned a moment ago, or uh, Kenny, Kenny did a moment ago, that your impact on this team is greater than what it was maybe when you were on the, the West Coast because of the role that you've been playing over the last couple of months. What's your thoughts about that? Yeah, I think he's right. I mean, I mean at the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever I can to help us win games, uh, whether that's setting that physical mentality, guarding guys down low, just bringing leadership, whatever I can. So for me, it's just every day just trying to bring it be the hardest worker that I can and just help us win games. So it's good to hear people say that they can see the impact. That's something that I'm working on every day. You've done this five years now. How hard is this last stretch before a conference tournament plays as far as mental fatigue? It's tough. I mean, it's a long season. Uh, obviously, you start in the summer, you start building something special. You get to this point. But with this group, everyone's excited <laughs> about what we have on the horizon. And for us, it's, it's one game, one week at a time. So I'd say there's a lot of excitement, and I think that's what really helps everybody is that we're all kind of in here trying to get better, working hard every day. So you can really get over that mental fatigue when everyone has so much excitement about uh, what's to come for us in the next couple games, next couple months. People always talk about how long it takes a team to get over a loss like LSU. What's it do? How long do you have to get over a win like Tennessee that was on a national scale like that? Yeah, I, th I think it's the same rule, 24 hours. Uh, you learn from a loss uh, the same way from a win. Obviously, feel good about it, enjoy it that night. But we were back in here Sunday preparing for the next game right after, trying to get better as a team, looking at the ways that we could have played a lot better in the game Saturday. So just understand that it's just one game. We still got to keep on going. We still got some more conference games to play, and then our ultimate goal starts next month. So just understand that it's one game at a time. You've said a lot that you, you came here because you wanted to expand your game. How much was defense a part of that, and how far have you come? over the last few months in that area. Yeah, defense was a big part of that as far as just being able to guard smaller players if, it, if we do a, a switch or something like that. But also in the post, just being able to be reliable one-on-one, -on -one, holding my ground without fouling and, and playing good D. So I feel like the last couple of weeks, I've taken big strides as far as just being more active, getting deflections, getting blocks, and, and just really trying to guard my man a lot better. So say so I made big jumps in that, still a lot more to go, but I'm pretty happy with, with the way that I've improved in that. Going into Saturday, how good did you feel about winning that matchup defensively against Grant Williams? Felt good. I felt like the coaches did a good job of uh, putting the game plan in place. Obviously, he's a great player. It was going to be a by committee type of deal. We sent a lot of double teams and, and guys needed to rotate well. So for me, it was just trying to uh, absorb the initial blow. Don't let them get too many quick ones real, real easy at the basket because I knew that I had help coming for double teams and things like that. So. So it was a collective team effort. I think we had a great game plan in place. And how many times you see the video actually had the, to get my name after the game? No. <laughs> I think it's just a figure of speech. Okay. That, that <laughs> <laughs> Making sure it wasn't. Yeah.